hello happy Monday and happy summer week this is mindful Monday with Tamara and we will be practicing very slow easy movements today something relaxing to start your week so all you'll need for this class is to clear your sp the space roll out your yoga mat and just bring yourself <laughs> it will hopefully start your week with a very relaxed and positive outlook and just open the way for lots of productivity this week so welcome to those who are just coming online and if you are watching this live please give me a little a little heart a little thumbs up it really encourages me to teach these classes online to know that there is someone on the other side connecting through this practice and if you're watching this afterwards if you're watching the recording also just send me a little note a little message in the comments and let me know what you think about these classes and also what else you would like to see here if there's anything in particular that you would like us to do in these classes so again my name is tamara and this is mindful monday it'll be easy and relaxing and of course a big element of these monday classes is mindfulness so we will begin with a short meditation so go ahead and find a cushion if you have a favorite meditation cushion that would be great I like using this this is my favorite meditation cushion it has uh, it's filled with buckwheat so it's still very firm but it molds to your your body shape it makes it incredibly comfortable to sit so what's really important in seated meditation is that we can hold the seated position without having to move or to fidget so all the adjustments we're going to make them right now so that we can find that comfortable place where we can really relax into the meditation make sure that you have all your needs met before going into meditation meaning you've had enough water you've had enough nourishment you've had enough rest enough sleep and also that you are in a space where there will be no um no disturbance so i'm gonna take a few sips of water we're in california it's really hot and dry and i am outdoors so please remember to drink water these days All right. So now that you've settled in, you found your seat. And remember that you can sit either cross-legged or with your knees folded back on the floor, but you can also sit on a chair or the edge of your bed. There really is no absolutely right way to sit for meditation. The important thing is that you don't fall asleep. So try not to be reclining because that automatically sets us into like a sleepy mode. So make sure that you're seated upright with your spine extended. So avoid the slumping. <laughs> so extended spine, awake spine. So we want to be awake during meditation. We don't want to fall asleep. There's other meditations that you do laying down like yoga nidra where you're taking your mind and your attention to different parts of your body and it's a really amazing and we can do that some other time <laughs> but for today let's stay seated and let's stay awake so choose your preferred seated position and settle in let's take a few breaths here inhale reaching up and exhale releasing the arms down let's do two more like this yeah. 
nice and slow, big breaths. Now taking the, the exhale into a twist. So inhale up to the center, exhale twist, reaching for your opposite knee. Inhale back to center, exhale twist to the other side. Do one more to each side and remember moving slow with the breath. And coming back to your center. Take the torso in a few circles, loosening up the spine, moving also the shoulders, moving the neck, and go in the other direction. back to center right here in your center on your inhale take your chest forward open up the front of the body and on the exhale curl in bring your belly back let's do three more like this moving with the breath now finding your center and relaxing into your seat just let your hands rest on your thighs close your eyes <sighs> take three full breaths exhaling through your mouth And today I would like to share with you a breath meditation or a breath work that comes from the tradition of yoga, very popular breath work. So for this breath work, <clears throat> we'll basically we'll be controlling our breath and controlling which nostril we're breathing through. So you can just rest your left hand on your thigh and use your right hand. So we're gonna use the ring and pinky finger and the thumb. So like this. So ring and pinky finger will come to your left nostril and the thumb will come to the right nostril and we'll alternate using covering one side and the other and I'll show you how so let's start with your hand relaxed and if it's easier for you to hold your arm in a more relaxed way you can bring your left hand under your armpit and let your right arm kind of rest on top and this is quite comfortable. So you're not like holding your shoulder up. So we'll start, full exhale, cover your right nostril, inhale through the left. 
cover both nostrils, hold your breath for just two seconds or three, and then open the right and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Make it a long, long inhale. Close both, hold your breath for just two or three seconds. And then open the left, exhaling. Inhale through the left. Long inhale, all fill up all the way. Close both nostrils, hold two or three seconds. Exhale through the right. Inhale right. Fill up completely, close both, hold two or three seconds. Open the left, exhale. Inhale left. All the way, all the way. Hold both. Exhale, opening through the right. Inhale through the right. Close both, hold. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close both, hold. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold both, exhale left. Inhale left, hold both, exhale right. Inhale right, hold both, Exhale left. Now keep going, your own rhythm. Count three full cycles on your own. And then once we finish those three full cycles, release and count 10 normal breaths.
Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth. And softly open your eyes. And come to lay on your back. So you can move the cushions to the side. We'll use them later. Bring your yoga mat close by. Open a blanket if you'd like so that you're very comfortable. on your back with your knees bent feet on the floor and take your feet wide as your mat and let your knees knock in towards the center and bring your hands to your abdomen to your belly close your eyes here and take a few deep breaths breathing into your belly Just feeling the soft movements of the breath coming into your abdomen. Let yourself really tune in to the sensations of your body without blocking anything out, taking in all the sounds, all the smells in the room or if you're outdoors. Really feeling how you are immersed in this environment that you are right now, whatever it is, wherever you are. So we're not removing ourselves from our current place and time, but we're actually feeling more immersed, more present, going deeper into the present time and space. Now bring your hands to your chest. And take a few deep breaths into your chest area. Expanding the upper ribs. Exhale through your mouth. Take one more big breath like this. Now bring your fingertips to your eyes with your eyes closed, obviously. So right on top of your eyelids. And press your eyeballs gently. And I like to think about this as switching the mind button off. So if, as if the eyes were a power button to the brain and that we could switch off the thinking mind so that we're more into the sensing brain. So less mind interpretation and more just sensing the current, the current information that we can gather from our five senses. And now release and extend your arms up overhead. And reach your fingers long, 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 long with your fingers. And now press your hips up. Reach those fingers long, hips up, big stretch. One more big breath here. 
exhale, bring your spine down and hug your knees in. Bring your forehead up to your knees. Tight squeeze, one more tight squeeze here. And release, bringing your feet back to the floor about hip width apart. Now with your inhale, lift the arms and peel the spine off the floor. And with the exhale, bring your vertebra your spine down one vertebra at a time as you float the arms back down to the floor follow your breath peeling the spine off reaching the arms up and exhale one vertebra at a time and arms softly back to the floor so let's do five breaths like this Nice and slow, following the breath. Really articulating your spine, vertebra for vertebra. Last one. And bring your arms out to the side in a T. And take your feet a little bit wider so they're as wide as your mat. And now take your knees side to side. your hips, feeling your sacrum and lower back. You might even feel this all the way up into your shoulders as you twist, reach with the opposite arm away from you. Keep going, reaching, reaching, reaching with the opposite arm. Let's do one more to each side. And bring it back to center. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, making a, a figure four with your legs. Keep it, keep the left foot about just in front of your, your sit bone. So it's not wide, but it's back to a more central position. Press your shoulders top of the shoulders down into the floor elbows bent and pressing down into the floor and on your inhale lift the hips exhale bring it back down let's do three more Now bring your 
hands, interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Keep pressing your right knee away from you. So there's some action here to press this leg away. Press the thigh into your hands, the left thigh into your hands. So I'm pressing my legs away from my face. And extend the left leg, circle your ankle, and it's okay to keep the knee slightly bent. Circle the ankle, spread the toes, and go in both directions. Bend the knee, and now lift your forehead, squeeze yourself in. release with your left hand hold on to the right ankle the one that's crossed over and take your left your right hand out to the floor bring the left foot down and now twist taking your legs all the way to the left you're still holding on to this top ankle keep this top knee open and reaching away from you and reach through your right fingertips to the right. Let's take three deep breaths here. And slowly come back to center and let's switch legs so now the left ankle goes over the right knee interlace your fingers behind your right thigh press your legs away from your face and extend oh wait first we're gonna lift the hips so bend the elbows, press top of the shoulders down into the floor, elbows into the floor, keep your neck long. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bring it down. Articulate through the spine. Let's do three more. And now interlace your fingers behind your thigh. Press your legs away from your face. Extend the right leg and circle your right ankle, spreading the toes. Go both directions. Bend the knee and I'll Curl yourself in, bringing your forehead towards your right knee. Release. And now hold the, with your right hand, the left ankle, the one that's on top. And twist, taking the left foot all the way down to the floor and still holding on to that ankle. Reach out through your left hand and look to the left. And coming back to center, release both legs and shake them out. Shake them, shake them, shake them. <sighs> Big hug, squeeze your knees in. Release. Hold the back of your knees and we'll rock here on our spine.
See if you can reach the floor with your toes overhead. As long as it's safe for your neck. And keep your head neutral. So don't look to the side when you roll back. And roll up to seated. All right. So seated with your knees bent, feet at the width of your mat. And take your hands to the floor behind you. And really open up the chest. Rock side to side to really open the chest. Get the hands back and connect it to the floor. And now take your knees side to side. And I'm going to gift us the sound of music. We'll play some music from DJ Soul Rising. Make sure it's playing here. All right, keep moving on the floor, knees swaying side to side. All right, music's on. And Kumar Vandervas. And the next time the knees come all the way to the right, lean onto the right hand, press your shins down into the floor and lift the left arm. Exhale, bring it down and change sides. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, down and to the other side. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, down. One more to each side. And come right to the center, hands to the floor behind you. Turn the fingers out to the side so it's comfortable on your wrist. And inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do two more. Lift the chest a little bit higher than the shoulders. Nice, bring the feet together, knees apart, making a big diamond with your legs. And if you have your cushion nearby, this is a really good time to use it. You can bring your cushion right in the middle of your legs in this diamond shape. Hold the ankles, inhale, arch the spine, open the chest. Exhale, round in, belly in. Let's do two more. And the next time you inhale and extend your spine, reach your chest forward and let yourself fall forward on your exhale. And we'll stay here, letting your body just hang and drop in with gravity. Let your head drop, release the muscles in your face, release the tension in your shoulders. And even though we're feeling this really deep and intense in our hips, and in our kind of sacral area. See if you can breathe into that space and give your hips permission 
to release. Give your spine permission to let go with the breath, with every exhale, allowing a just a little bit deeper opportunity to let go and release. With your next inhale come up to seated you can remove the cushion keep pressing your feet into each other knees wide hands to the floor behind you and lift the hips on the exhale bring the hips down and let's do two more breaths like this inhale to lift the hips exhale to let them come down And release the legs, extend them out, shake them out. And circles here with your torso. So your, your fingertips can be on the floor to help you to give yourself a little bit of support. They can also be on your thighs, change direction. See if you can really articulate through the hips, the low back, and the sacrum. All right, keeping your legs wide, bring the hands to the floor behind you. Lift the hips, keep the feet flexed, press those heels into the floor, and now turn your feet side to side. Bring it back down, keeping the legs extended and wide. Bring your cushion in front of you. Keep the, the heels, reach through the heels. So it doesn't matter how wide your legs are. Take them only as wide as they want to go. And it's okay to bend your knees a little bit as well. Take a deep breath, extend the spine. And on your exhale, reach your chest forward find your cushion and put as many layers of cushioning that you need here to give your body enough support to lean forward and let go so i'm going to bring an extra cushion here to demonstrate adding as much support as you need so the body wants to feel supported in order to let go if it doesn't feel safe and the body feels like it's going to fall, it's going to contract and hold. So we actually want to give enough support to allow an opening and a release. So stack those cushions as high as you need so that your torso is supported. And once you have enough support, let your head go, let your neck release and let your face drop and Release the muscles in your face. slowly coming back up take your cushions to the side and bring your legs into center oh my goodness and shake them out shake out the knees all right and let's come to all fours for a few big hip circles here 
least the head. Go both ways. Coming to your center. Inhale the left arm open up. Exhale, bring it down. Left arm open up and down. Let's do two more to each side. Now open the right arm again. We're, we'll take it through. Bring the right shoulder all the way to the floor. Leaving a lot of space between your ear and your shoulder. So don't crunch your shoulder towards your ear. But move forward. Roll forward. So that there's a lot of space between the shoulder and the ear. It's so really opening up the side of your neck and the shoulder. And make sure that your hips don't collapse towards the same side as the hand. Take your hips a little bit to the opposite side. Yep. And now left arm up and wrap it around your low back, maybe grabbing onto your pants or your thighs. Breathe here. Breathe into the space, into the tight spaces. Find a little bit of release. Now you can stay here, or if you want to have a little bit fun, extend your left leg. So the same side that you're looking towards. And if you want to have a little bit more fun, lift that leg and reach your toes high. Just notice what you need to do to keep balance. And if you fall, let yourself fall. All right, and let's go to the other side. So there, there's, no, there's no mistakes here. The only mistake would be if you hurt yourself, but you're not gonna hurt yourself if you let yourself fall here. If your body feels good and loose, and if you're having fun, look, if you're having fun, you're probably doing it right. <laughs> so let's go to the other side. From all fours, Take your right arm open. Oh wait, left arm, left arm. Left arm open. Exhale, bring it under and through. Make sure that you have that space between the shoulder and the ear. Take, don't let your hips collapse towards the side that you're looking. Take your hips a little bit to the opposite side, so to your left. And wrap the right arm around the low back, maybe holding on to the pants or to your thigh. And take deep breaths here. And either stay here relaxed or extend the right leg. Feeling what that is like. It's a different sensation. To experience that new sensation. And then if you, if you wanna take it to another fun place, extend the right leg up 
and allow yourself to fall. And slowly come back up to all fours. Let's go into a downward dog to stretch it out. Extend the spine, take the feet wide as your mat and let your hips sway side to side as you bend one knee and the other. Bend your knees, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Keep your feet wide, let your head drop heavy, shake it out. And slowly unfurl the spine to come up to standing. All right, and I, I ran out of space here. Let's see if I fit better. All right, who's watching? Hey. Hi guys. Okay, so we're standing with our feet wide. And let's bring in, a, I'll show it in profile. Bend, knees forward, hips forward, chest and chin. Knees, hips, chest and chin. Shoulders back. Let's do a few shoulder circles. Just shoulders. All right, and keeping the feet wide, interlace your interlace your fingers behind your back, or hold on to a small towel. Open the chest. Big breath. Shoulders back and down. Bend the knees, hinge forward. Lift, lift. I'm having some kind of, okay, we're having some. We still are live? Yes, okay. Having some connection issues, just bear with me. Release the hands, reach your fingers forward. Keep the knees slightly bent and take the hips back. Extend the spine, reach between your arms. All right, we're still live. It's just a little choppy. Let's see if we can finish the class. Okay. So from that wide-legged position, holding forward, walk your hands to your right ankle. Reach it with both hands. Bend the left knee. Hang off of your right ankle. Letting all your weight go towards the left knee. Back to center and let's change sides. So walk the hands to the left ankle, bend the right knee, hang off of the left ankle. Release, come to your mat, onto all fours. Shake your hips out a little bit. I'm gonna tilt us a little bit low. All right, we're still here. Still connected. Are we low enough? Okay, great. Downward dog. Take your right leg up. Reach long, long, long. 
and step your foot forward outside your right hand. Lower your back knee down and notice how I'm using the blanket to support my knee. Let your hips come forward, open your chest, and let's take a few deep breaths, just holding here, opening the front of our hips. Shoulders back. And let's see if we can come down to our forearms or to our cushions. So bring those cushions in and come down to your forearms and let your head your forehead rests on the heel of your hand. So bring your hands together in a prayer position and rest your forehead here. Take your left leg up, reach it high, and step it forward. Let's stay on our hands first. Take your left foot out to the left as much as you need to. Make sure that your toes and your knee are pointing in the same direction so your ankle is not sickling. Flex the ankle. The chest open, shoulders back, spine extended. And slowly coming down to our forearms. You can use your cushions to stay a little bit higher hands together in prayer position and let yourself go deep here relax and breathe into the tight spaces with each exhale giving your body permission to let go slowly coming up move your cushions to the side step back to downward dog and piddle your feet out let's come all the way down to the floor to our belly Make a pillow with your hands, bend your knees, and sway your feet side to side. forehead to the floor so your face is neutral towards the floor bend the knees and catch your ankles you can stay here breathing feeling the stretch in the front of the body flex the feet press your hips down into the floor bring your belly button into your spine Lift the shoulders away from the floor 
and kick the feet into your hands. If you wanna take it a little bit higher, lift the chest, kick the feet back, enjoy. Keep squeezing the knees in towards the midline. Don't let them open up. And release. Take deep belly breaths here. Okay, and now either keeping your your chest and your face down or coming up into a sphinx pose you're on your forearms slide your left knee out to the side so it comes into like a 90 degree 90 90 degree out and bend the right leg the one that was back and make gentle circles here with your right leg Remember, if there's any pinching sensation here in your low back, you're welcome to bring it low. Stay down here. You might want to experience both options. Just feel what each one has, the experience that each pose has to offer you. It's all about experiencing and sensing with our body. Now, either with your forehead down, you can make a pillow with your left hand, or keeping your forehead, your chest up, reach for the, with your right hand for your right foot, kick it into your hand and open up. A nice stretch here. Bring that heel in towards your glute for a deeper sensation. release extend both legs shake your hips a little side to side and let's go now right knee out to the right 90 90 degree remember your options staying low or coming up bend the left knee and circle with the left foot Go both ways. All right, now either keeping chest up or chest down with the left hand, reach for the left foot and bring your heel in towards your glute or kick your foot into the hand. Experience both options. Lots of options here. Whatever feels good, make a good stretch in your body, go for it. Release, extend both legs, shake your hips a little side to side, and roll now to lay on your back and bring in all the cushions that you have available. All of it. We're gonna be nice and comfortable. All right, so we're actually out of time. So this is what I suggest you do to wrap up the class, is to sit right in front of your cushions, feet together, knees apart, Lay back and open your chest here. Make sure that your head is supported. And enjoy that last resting position. Sorry for the connection issues we were having. I hope that you're still 
you are still able to follow the class. And I will say goodbye. Be well. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you here again, back porch, Wednesday at noon for hardcore yoga. So Wednesday, we're going to light up the fire and challenge ourselves a little bit more. So until then, take care. Ciao, ciao.